Hi Earth Sign, welcome to my channel. We're doing your daily soulmate love and relationship for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Again, I'm just gonna explain this in this video. Sorry for the um, you know erratic uploads. Um, cleansing of energy. I do monthly, weekly. And I hope you guys know that. So it came out later in the month, and it was that's how I felt. <laughs> okay, but anyhow, I'm back, and here we are. <laughs> So this is going to be uh, your soulmate, love relationship, and we'll have an extended reading, um, how it pans out, and at the same time, how your soulmate feels in a situation, okay? So let's see what's going on. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Here you go. Focus on the situation, guys. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Can be a Scorpio right off the bat or another water sign. Oh, I'm the Scorpio card. Ooh, okay, so much there. So it's showing here that you are in a new cycle with your soulmate, Okay. I don't sense it. This is a breakup. Not unless we get a tower over here, then it's something else. Um, the new cycle begins. Um, we are in the Scorpio season, and that's why a lot of energies are ending, new beginning, you know, before the Libra comes, when we are weighing things, and now, here comes, you didn't make a decision, the universe makes it for you. Ripping it off, taking it all out, starting again from bones to grow, okay? Like, this is growing a new flesh also. <laughs> I don't know how that works. But in this soulmate that you have, okay, you're starting new, very sudden though. You may have ended something with them only to find yourself again with them. Okay, because not unless it was finished, it was done, like what I told you, like contract was done. I don't sense though. This has been ongoing contract, but always ripping you out from within. Okay, but this is growth also. When you go into this stage, you become a new person, you become a new individual. You become a new you in the sense that there was growth from the time that you have met your soulmate. Now you're different. A lot of things are different. A lot of things has changed in your life. That's what I'm sensing here. The magician. Oh, why are you guys having so much majors? Okay, well, there's two already now. Magician is showing that in this connection that you guys have, strongly, it will move forward because you have the skills, knowledge, and everything. You have learned from the past. Here comes the new knowledge of app, you know, putting it into work. And the magician is a doer card, right? This is all doing. Okay, so now basically you get a fresh start again. Number one, so this is a new beginning. Very good. So this new beginning with your soulmate, take it, okay, as far as you can. But provided you've learned what the death card taught you, the difficult cycle, all the hardship, all the tears, all the painful experience with your soulmate, learn from it, and then now those are the knowledge that you have to use. When you use it as the magician, okay, it becomes wisdom. For some reason, knowledge doesn't work until you apply it. <laughs> apply it, it becomes wisdom because you become smarter. Putting it inside your head is like, okay, well, that happened. And then repeating it again becomes, you know, well, becomes a cycle. Yes, a soulmate has a cycle, but you have to get out of the, soul, the, the, the cycle in order for you to grow and for the other person to grow. This can be you being single also. But this is this is a separation with a soulmate for you to be able to manifest what you want with your life. A career, a stable family, a stable home, all those stuff. The separation was required in order for you to understand who you really are and what you're really made of. That you are whole. You are complete. Okay? You have to realize that before you go with them, or else you're going to suck their energy, they're going to suck your energy, and then now it becomes a malefic connection. And it even further, furthers down the contract, and then, you know, like you just have to keep learning, and then Saturn would be like a bit, oh, sorry, I didn't say that. <laughs> and Saturn would keep telling you, oh, you don't learn, huh? But now here, showing that you have an opportunity. Sorry about that, the battery died. So we have here the magician, okay, showing maturity, okay, as an individual. What I was saying, it's like both has to learn, because this is you as a single person, learning now. Okay, from whatever lessons that the death card has taught you, new beginning. And then you have here the Queen of Swords. Wow, very smart. You can't be uh, played anymore. The, if the Magician and Queen of Swords over here, okay, Queen of Swords is smart. If it was a trickster before with the Magician, they can't be tricked anymore. You can't be, of course, the battery ran out, my monitor runs out, everything's running out. <laughs> Challenges. Okay, so the Queen of Swords energy over here is showing you are smart in the situation. You know what I want and you're direct. Um, or the situation that you are with your soulmate is like there is direction because there's no wishy-washy. Both are clear where they want to start, the magician. 
do you want to start this with the cups? Do you want to start this with the pentacles? Choose which one. Do you want to start with the ones or the swords? Choose which one. We take it from there, and then that's where we move it from. Clearly, the Queen of Swords is a divorcee, someone who's cold, distant. There's a reason why you like that. They don't let their emotion run them. They let their mind run them. It can be that kind of person that you're connecting with. It has to be more logic than feelings, which is a death card. It's showing here also that if it's a water sign, they can have this energy because they see in the future someone who knows what they're going to feel later on and they're preventing it. Someone has a little bit of a, well, there's a wall, obviously, because if they experience death, then they're going to be cold, the Queen of Swords, okay? So I'm going to continue this reading, guys, on how it pans out with the situation, Major Summit, and also how they feel. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys again. Bye.